This is the Huawei MatePad Edge, a two-in-one tablet that really takes the idea of tablet meets laptop to a new level. Most two-in-one devices in the past, like Microsoft's Surface lineup, were basically PCs wearing a tablet costume. Yes, they had touchscreens, but the experience wasn't truly unified. You could say they took the first step, but they didn't go all the way. The MatePad Edge, though, feels like the first time the concept has been fully realized. Let's start with the tablet itself, because everything depends on how strong the main body is. If the performance is weak or it overheats too easily, then any so-called PC mode is just a gimmick. Thankfully, that's not the case here. A quick shout out to my tech partner from China for sharing this video. A big thank you for making this possible. Hey everyone, it's Mickey from Tech Makey. If you love staying updated with the latest gadgets, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting tech content. Huawei built this with a surprisingly powerful foundation. Inside this slim chassis sits a chip that can sustain up to 28 watt performance output compared to the Surface's 20 watts. That alone tells you it needs and has a far more advanced cooling system than a typical tablet. And Huawei's solution is honestly wild. Flip open the kickstand and you'll notice the entire back panel is basically one giant cooling surface. Nearly 4,000 vents are built into it. Inside, there are two fans and two vapor chambers working together. Um, some models even add micro-pump liquid cooling film to help keep the display area cool. Huawei clearly knows how we use devices like this. When you're holding it as a tablet, you're probably just browsing, watching videos, or doing lighter tasks. So the vapor chamber system is enough. But the moment you prop it up with the kickstand, the fans kick in because you're likely about to push it harder, and that's where it unleashes its full 28-watt capability. It's a smart, seamless design. With that kind of performance, the MatePad Edge can handle CapCut video editing, big WPS document projects, CAD drawings, and more without breaking a sweat. And CapCut runs beautifully here, not the stripped-down mobile version, but the complete PC version with the same workflow and tools you'd get on a desktop. Playing back 4K movies is also super smooth. Speaking of movies, the screen and audio setup on this device are are honestly some of its biggest highlights. The 14.2 inch OLED display is probably the most premium part of the entire package. With its ultra slim bezels and a 94% screen to body ratio, it almost feels borderless. And the 3.1K resolution delivers rich, accurate colors that look fantastic. But the screen has a unique trick. Using a special nano etched layer, Huawei diffuses harsh glare into a soft, gentle reflection. So even under a bright lamp or next to a window, you won't get those blinding hotspots that make your eyes uncomfortable. Instead of cranking up brightness to fight glare, they solved it physically, an approach that's both clever and effective. And then, the speakers. This thing squeezes in a six-speaker setup with dedicated high and low frequency drivers. Specs alone don't tell the whole story, but once you watch a movie on it, you'll understand. With spatial movement effects enabled, the audio feels full and immersive. You can genuinely hear distance and direction, like the sound of a plane passing overhead. If you get the chance, test it in a store. It's surprisingly impressive. There are also two smaller details I really appreciate. First, the pen and its storage slot. The M Pencil Pro looks simple, but its pressure sensitivity is excellent. And this little slot right here isn't just for storage, it's magnetic and charges the pen the moment it snaps in. Apple has kept the same external pen charging method since 2015, and it's always felt awkward and easy to lose. Huawei's hidden pen slot solves that. The pen always has a place, it stays fully charged, and you barely even notice it's there yet it's always ready. Second, the keyboard. The Starry Night floating keyboard doesn't reinvent typing, but its floating hinge design is genius. The hinge lifts the screen, giving you a much more ergonomic viewing angle, and the angle adjustment is super flexible. You can even position it flat for standing desk use. It also creates extra space under the device, giving the speakers room to breathe so audio isn't muffled by your desk. With one tap, the magnetic connector locks in place, the screen glides smoothly, and you instantly switch to PC mode. The whole setup feels sturdy and premium, not wobbly or cheap. It genuinely transforms the MatePad Edge from a tablet into something that feels like an entirely different machine. So, from the display, to the sound system, to the pen and keyboard, every aspect of the Huawei MatePad Edge shows thoughtful design. It's not just a pile of hardware thrown together, it's a well-integrated, polished experience from top to bottom. Now we've arrived at the MatePad Edge's biggest challenge, the point where every two-in-one device has to prove itself. It's packed with powerful hardware, but what kind of software experience does it actually meet? Let's start with the good news, because there are definitely some pleasant surprises here. 
For instance, attach the keyboard, switch into PC mode, and launch WPS. What you get feels genuinely like a desktop class version, not some watered-down mobile adaptation. You can open huge PowerPoint decks with tons of images and text, work through heavy spreadsheets, and everything stays silky smooth, exactly the way it should on a real computer. Then detach the keyboard and grab the M Pencil Pro. Use it in the Born to Draw app, and the responsiveness is almost paper-like. The latency is so low that sketching and writing feel incredibly natural. The app itself is packed with brushes, textures, and tools, giving you a full, satisfying drawing experience. But we also need to talk about the other side of the story, because once you step outside the bubble of these well-optimized apps and try to integrate your own workflow, reality hits. If you need full desktop Photoshop for complex edits, or a professional programming IDE, or some specialized software your company relies on, you'll quickly discover that Harmony OS's PC ecosystem still doesn't have true equivalents yet. Huawei never hides this fact, and there are Windows virtual machines in the App Store, but the overall experience is far from ideal. Even within some third-party apps, you may run into small quirks. Uh, a number of users have mentioned that the PC version of WPS can feel sluggish when scrolling through certain documents. It's not that the hardware is lacking, far from it. It's simply that the system and software optimization haven't quite reached the same level yet. So the MatePad Edge ends up in this interesting, somewhat contradictory position. In many cases, key areas, it performs wonderfully. But when you zoom out and look at the wider range of professional software, there are still noticeable gaps that it just can't fill at the moment. How do we judge a device like this, one that's both incredibly capable and clearly limited in certain ways? The hardware has taken a huge leap forward while the software ecosystem is still catching up. And honestly, this reminds me of a very familiar moment in tech history. Let's jump back to 1984. Apple released its first Macintosh, introducing the mouse and graphical interface to everyday consumers. It was groundbreaking, but at launch, there were only a few apps available, MacWrite, MacPaint, and that was pretty much it. In an era ruled by IBM PCs and DOS, many professionals looked at it and shrugged, saying, it's just an expensive toy. History has a funny way of repeating itself. What we're seeing with the MatePad Edge today is almost identical to what the Mac went through decades ago. Huawei is using Harmony OS and this two-in-one form factor to challenge an industry dominated by Windows and Mac OS for generations. And again, the question becomes, do we judge a forward-looking device by the apps it has right now or by the foundation it's building for the future? The answer is clear. The early Mac's groundbreaking interface laid the groundwork for the desktop publishing revolution that came later, and Huawei is doing something very similar here. They've already built the hardware foundation, a seamless two-in-one experience, an innovative cooling structure, and a premium 14.2-inch OLED display. All of this is preparing the runway for the future Harmony OS desktop ecosystem. And Huawei is expanding that ecosystem faster than anything we've seen in tech before. Right now, Harmony OS on PC already supports more than 10,000 desktop apps, and Huawei is actively partnering with major software developers to improve compatibility and accessory support. This isn't passive growth, it's intentional strategic ecosystem building. Even more importantly, Huawei is pushing a brand new development model. Build once, run everywhere. Developers create an app once, and it automatically adapts to both tablet and PC modes. This directly targets one of the biggest pain points that has plagued two-in-one systems for years. Contrast that with Apple's approach. The iPad Pro has the power of a laptop, but iPad OS is boxed in by invisible limitations. Apple keeps iOS and macOS strictly separate, whether for product strategy or ecosystem control, and that division has held the iPad Pro back from ever becoming a true laptop replacement. And that's why the MatePad Edge matters. It may not be the final destination, but it's definitely a major starting point for the next era of computing. It shows us that real innovation isn't about being perfect on day one, it's about opening the door to a new direction. Future devices should adapt seamlessly, switching modes effortlessly. This device is essentially a ticket to that future, and honestly, it feels like Huawei's ship is just about ready to leave the dock.